I would like to welcome the class of 2020-21 at STEP Academy. Hello everyone, welcome. I'm Tracy Moore, Assistant Director of Academics here at STEP Academy. I'm delighted to be here for our 2020-21 graduation exercises. Graduation day is always a day of rejoicing for it marks the conclusion of an educational journey and the commencement of a new and exciting path. Graduation is a ceremony designed to provide memories and impressions that will last a lifetime. I would like to request everyone's assistance in ensuring that our graduates have a great celebration. Today's an important day. I would now like to introduce our Executive Director, Dr. Mustafa Ibrahim, to say a few words. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, it's an honor for me to welcome STEP Academy students, parents, family members, and the members of the school board here at the STEP Academy this morning. I would like to thank all STEP Academy community those who are here today to witness this important occasion and important graduation today. We are witnessing history. This year was a very difficult year, as you know. Some of these students, when they walked inside the school this morning, I was wondering if they are STEP Academy students. Because whole last year, <laughs> some of them they never, never came to our school. As you know, we are in COVID-19 year. And every student was at home or in college doing distance learning. So it was a wonderful, wonderful time and day to see all of you here today graduating with your parents, with your teachers. I would like to thank Tracy Moore. We could stand up, please, Tracy. Thank you very much. <laughs> For working very hard this year and making sure every STEP Academy student graduates today. Every student, 100%. <laughs> it's a very rare to see a cohort of students who graduate, all of them, 100%. That's amazing. Mechiro. Arday Kasta Odigene Step Academy is another one in Chibinia. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Yani, how are you? This is a milestone. This is a milestone. A lot of school is when you see the graduate rate 80%, 70%, sometimes 60%. But the STEP Academy, 100%. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen. I would like to thank all the teachers here. STEP Academy teachers, could you please stand up, please? I know this year was a very difficult year for all of you for distance learning, for communicating, I'm um, okay? Yes, for communicating each student to make sure that they have enough courage to graduate, 
you work it very, very hard today. So thank you. Thank you, STEP Academy teachers. I also like to thank teachers, uh, parents, STEP Academy parents. Thank you very much. A lot of you came to school this year and you said, wow, we never thought STEP Academy teachers and the school they were doing like this kind of job. You start acknowledging what we're doing in our school because also we become a t teachers. You become teachers, right? Inside, your, inside home. <laughs> At home, you become teachers. So this year was very difficult year, was partner. You're doing your part, we're doing our part. So without you, no one will be graduating today. So again, thank you very much. <laughs> Students, this was a COVID-19 year. You know that, right? As a school community, we're sorry if not provide you a lot of opportunity for you, like similar years. Yesterday, we received an email, email from some t students <laughs> asking us to postpone or delay this graduation to have another location, more traditional look like a ceremony. But we said, we're ready, and whatever happens, we'll continue to graduate you and to give you your, your diploma. So this is what's going on in the world, not only you, but a lot of schools are limiting their graduation, are changing their programs, and this is the, this looks like very beautiful ceremony, right? Beautiful ceremony. Teachers, staff here, this beautiful uh, auditorium, our gym. So this is the best what we can give you. So thank you and welcome again. <laughs> uh, I would like to say our students, STEP Academy students, and uh, this is what we are unique as a school. We are preparing our students for college. As we said before, we are college prep school. We expect our students, when they are 11th grade, to be college ready. And the next year, we support approval and our teachers' work. We like to rebrand our school and become STEP Academy College Prep. We are working that. It's a long year-long process, but that will start in kindergarten. Our program will change. So now we expect the 10th grade, 11th grade to start the college, but inshallah ta'ala, after one year, maybe our 10th graders will be ready for college. Inshallah ta'ala. So, Ardu Damat Khalil is anyone who graduated today, 49 students are graduating today. 49 students. That's our class. <laughs> 35 of them, they were in college. 35 of them are in college, mashallah. <laughs> that means 71%, 71% of graduate STEP Academy, they were in college last year so i like to mention each college students and the the college credit they earned last year college credits as you know when you're graduating from college you need 120 right in college in, pro, in college you, in order to get your bachelor degree you need 120 college credit to get you will see how many college credit our students already earned it before even they start college? college 
أرضي هذا إن شاء الله تعالى قاركود لابد سو أهرس ودم أيام بق لابد سو أهرس ودم أيام بق لابد سو كلا ودم أن حكوا بالعافية قطر عبد القادر سجست تو كل أشكره علي أحمد 22 كولاج كريدز ما شاء الله حمدي أحمد 54 كولاج كريدز رحمة بدل 26 كولاج كريدز أحمد طاهر الضيب 59 كولاج كريدز جابر دموكي 70 كولاج كريدز حفصة علمي 57 كولج كريدز عبد الخالق فارح 53 كولج كريدز زلمة قوليت 46 كولج كريدز سهام حاشي 65 كولج كريدز خالد حسن 53 كولج كريدز خالد هلولي 32 كولج كريدز فيصل اسماعيل 36 كولج كريدز عبد العزيز جامع 20 كولج كريدز حسين جبريل 13 كولج كريدز نورين كساب 66 كولج كريدز Amal Muhammad, 57 college credits. You earn it, and inshallah you will only add two more years, and you will get your college degree. So congratulations for your hard work. Today is a great day for you. And we are very, very proud of you. So again, congratulations. Next, thank you. Thank you, by the way. Thank you for that wonderful address. Um, next, we would like to welcome Mr. Luke Olson. He is our high school math teacher, and he was chosen by the senior class as their faculty speaker. So welcome, Mr. Olson. Hey, guys. Um, I'd like to start by thanking all step staff at STEP Academy that have impacted your guys' education. Without them, we would not be here today. I'd also like to thank the parents of the graduating class. I cannot imagine the work that you have put in in order to help your child succeed. I'd also like to thank you guys, the graduating class, for the memories you've left me with. <clears throat> I've taught some of you since eighth grade, and that's just crazy. It seems like yesterday. I honestly don't know how you put up with me for so long. Some of you were, you know, this tall when you first saw you. And now look at Faisal. He's like... <laughs> I've seen you grow from rowdy middle schoolers to adults that are ready for the next phase in life. The few things I want to honor you for. The first is your versatility. When COVID hit, I was worried about distance learning, but you guys took it in stride and still succeeded despite the circumstances. I can say that I, couldn't be, I wouldn't be able to do that when I was your age. Another thing I want to honor you for is your culture of acceptance that you guys have created. No matter how different a person is from you, you always accept them for who they are. And that takes a lot for a person to be able to do, and you guys do it with ease. I watched a lot of speeches preparing for this. Some good, some weird, some just really, really bad. Uh, one that really resonated me, with me was Michelle Obama's speech, which I would recommend watching. Two quick quotes that she said that I'm hoping to pass on to you are these, though. Whatever path you choose, I want you to be choosing it, not anyone else. I think we're all put under pressure to make choices, but just know that at the end of the day, you're the one in charge of your life. Secondly, in that same vein, Michelle said, act with your mind and your heart. At the end of the day, again, you are just accountable for your decisions and you should be proud of them. 
Finally, some of you asked me in class, when are we ever going to use this? I can honestly say, now that you're graduating, you're never going to use the quadratic formula. <laughs> what I like about it, though, is that you guys are questioning it. You're curious, and your willingness, and you have a desire to know more. So thank you, class of 2021, for the memories you have left us with. We will cherish them forever, and I know you guys all have very bright futures ahead of you, and I am excited to see where it goes. Congratulations. You guys deserve it. All right, thank you, Mr. Olson. Next, I would like to welcome our student speaker. <laughs> All right, our student speaker this year is Mumtaz, Mustafa, and everything is in a weird order now. Um, uh, Mumtaz, please join us. <laughs> Okay, um, my name is Mumtaz Mustafa, and I want to start off by congratulating all of you guys. Okay, um, we just like really did something really, really major, and like graduating is like a big accomplishment, and I really want to say thank you for every teacher and every staff member, and um, I want to be, make, I want to make sure that you guys get recognized for all that you guys did. I'm so glad I spent four years with you guys. Um, we worked hard to get to this step, and I am very grateful for the teachers and staff members that helped us in every way possible. This graduation isn't an end goal, but rather a part of the larger um, journey of life. Any accomplishments we make um, after this is going to be obviously celebrated again, because it's big. Um, we already shown our commitment to personal growth by making it to the ceremony today, and I hope we all get to experience more ceremonies soon. Like I said before, life is a journey, guys, and we just don't stop growing after this diploma. We're going to get more, and you guys are going to get mature. Uh, um, you guys are going to learn every new, um, new skills every day, and I hope that you guys appreciate everything that we had over here, because it was really, really good. Um, I'm going to keep it short, but good or bad, long or short, Step Academy was the place that we all did our thing, and we're going to be proud of it later. And I want to just say that we're all going to remember this place after this, Okay, that's it, guys. Have a good day. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. We are going to move on. Um, Step, Aca Step Academy prides itself on creating a strong academic environment and encouraging students to earn college credits while still in high school through Minnesota's PSEO program. This year, as Dr. Mustafa said, 71% of STEP Academy seniors attended PSEO classes. For this reason, academic awards at STEP Academy are very competitive. We could give academic awards to many more students than we are giving today. This year, we have two scholars who held themselves to very high standards and worked to achieve the academic accolades we are giving today. These students have earned the highest GPAs in their graduating class. First, I would like to recognize our salutatorian. This student attended PSEO at Normandale dur during her junior and senior years. She took classes like statistics, pre-calculus, and fundamentals of public speaking to earn this distinction that she's receiving today. Next year, she will be attending the Carlson School of Business at the University of Minnesota, majoring in management information systems. She has already completed an internship at an international consulting company during her high school years. With a final high school grade point average of 3.83 in college classes and high school classes, I would like to recognize Siham Hashi. Congratulations, Siham. 
Next, our valedictorian spent her last two years of high school in PSEO at St. Paul College, earning the highest GPA in the 2021 graduating class. She took classes like microbiology, biological anthropology, and anatomy and physiology as part of her 81 earned college credits. Oh, and I didn't mention yet, but during that time she also received her credentials um, for becoming a nursing assistant. This outstanding STEP Academy scholar will be majoring in nursing while attending the University of Minnesota next year. This is the first time we have had this at STEP Academy. I want, I want to let you know this is a monumental moment. I'm going to announce her GPA. Her GPA was 4.0. Um, I'm going to introduce this graduate, but she will receive her valedictorian um, award at the second ceremony today. Baja Shira. Thank you. All right. I would now like to introduce one of our board members, Abdul Razak Mersal, to address the crowd. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy. Um, good morning. Um, graduates, today is your day. We're very proud of you. Um, this year has been um, an exceptional year in terms of the global pandemic and the distance learning. But um, it shows like the hard work that you have done um, and also the support that you received from your parents and especially from the faculty, the teachers who have been the backbone of um, STEP Academy and throughout our nation and um, the world. Um, we are very proud of you. Um, congratulations. Um, today is a uh, celebration for a uh, one of the milestones that you will um, celebrate for the coming years. Um, now you are advancing into a higher education. Um, it's, it's heartwarming to hear that some of you already like are um, having uh, associate degree and internships and all of that. Um, it's just a blessing. Um, continue the hard work. Uh, your parents are very happy. Um, we are very proud. Um, to be honest, like this just like, um, it makes me em emotional because I know like um, the journey has not been easy but because of the hard work that you guys have done and your teachers. Um, uh, teachers are sometimes they're not recognized, uh, but they are, um, they are the, the driving force of the success that you're celebrating today. So thank you all, um, congratulations, and best of luck for your future and hope. All right, it is now the moment you've all been waiting for, the presentation of diplomas. I ask that after each name is read and applause results, that we quiet as an audience after so that every family can hear their graduate's name being read. I would now like to welcome STEP Academy's Assistant Director of Operations, Mr. Ahmed Mersal, to announce the senior class. Thank you, Tracy Moore. I will call the name is Magaya Luyeri, inshallah. Arda da kalen jebine isa. Group ki hara, group ka dambo haiman donan 12 aklak. Bahara bayat marko warisinan uyero, Abdurrahman Abdi. Thank you, Abdurrahman. Khalid Abdi. Isra Abdullahi. Thank you. 
Thank you, Isra. Isra, welcome. Qadra Abdul Qadir. Ali Ahmed. Hani Ahmed. Sorry. Ibrahim Ali. Rahma Badal. Ahmed Ahir Tayyib Hafsa Ilmi عبد الخالق فارح زلمة قلد Siham Hashi. Khalid Hilole. Faisal Ismail Abdul Aziz Jama Hussein Jibril Amal Muhammad Abdurrahman Mahmoud.
آمیرا جامع فاطمہ محمد اکرام محمد محمد اے محمد تنکیو محمد محمد آئی محمد محسن محمد سندس محمد عبد الرحمن محمود حسين محمود شكرا حسين منيرة محمود سلوى محمود زبير محمود سهيب محمد ممتاز مصطفى أحمد آي نور
محمد اي نور عبدي شكور صلاة <تصفيق> بهجة شرع سينابو وكو Thank you. At this time, it is my honor to confirm the class of 2021. Dr. Ibrahim, Mr. Mercel, parents, teachers, and all members of the STEP Academy community, I hereby declare that these graduation candidates have met all the requirements for a diploma set forth by the Minnesota Department of Education and STEP Academy. Under the authority vested in STEP Academy to confer high school credentials, I hereby confirm the official graduation of the senior class of 2021. Graduates, you may now move your tassel to the other side of your hat, signifying that you have officially graduated. Nice job. The class of 2021. We have one more. Okay. So you're going to announce? Uh, yeah, sorry. Zakaria uh, Mahmoud. Sorry. Congratulations. I would now like to welcome Dr. Mustafa again to join us for closing remarks. Alhamdulillah, congratulations again. Congratulations to each graduate of STEP Academy and their families. You all deserve the honors that you receive today. To everyone who has supported the STEP Academy in a such a positive way this year, I thank you once again. Congratulations and a wonderful summer. Walidinta, Ardada, Ramando, Timothy Suyimit, Adam, my sent here in Asana, and all calm me saying, in a routine, I do see a Sarada Mayan. Wash around with the Governor, we are going to pay back the Governor and pay back the Governor. Had the whole beloved is a null collet. جامعات تخصص وحبر شكل أو بلابنة إسا تاني وحرجين إن شاء الله سيد هذا نو كالميسنو كله إن أنا نسوي كالميسنو عورتين أو كالميسنو 
And the today, as I said before, will not be your last day here at STEP Academy. You are now alumni, and I would like to welcome you back to STEP Academy. If you like to become teachers, we welcome you back here at STEP Academy. <laughs> Yeah. We like that communication, inshallah, to continue. Today is a big day for all of you. Enjoy, inshallah, ta'ala. Bananka wa haya la abitan iyo kuki wa haya la. Sahibadin, inshallah, isarka. Sawraka la gata. Congratulations!